this is going to vary the color a little bit. Um, so we can sort of start out with almost a feeling of this, you know, very abstract. Uh, just sort of go for it. And the faces don't have to be in any particular order or alignment. Uh, they can be different sizes. I encourage you um, to do some different sizes. Uh, some faces uh, may not even turn out that well, and that's okay. But the, the goal with this sort of exercise is to um, just get away from you know being too rigid, being intimidated by things, and uh, finding some freedom uh, in it, basically. And as these start to dry, um, we can come in here and we can add a little bit of color. I can even take some blues, let's say, if I can get them to loosen up. And I can just touch some blues and just still, you know, keeping it, no details at, you know, at this stage, just very minimalistic. And from here, And I'll sneak one more down in here. Why not? And I'll throw some necks in there just so they're, again, not floating too bad. I can come in here and uh, do some ears. And look how I'm mixing the colors. You know, I'm not uh, getting uh, too rigid with it. So I can even take some yellows. So a little bit smaller brush here. And I'll get into some browns, uh, ultramarine. And again, we don't want to go too dark right now. Uh, we'll kind of ease our way into it. And let's just start pulling out some features. I'll start with a shadow plane uh, on this one. So coming in here, I'll see a nice little top lip there. So I can kind of make that into a top lip. And then a chin. Something like this. And I'll change up the color, maybe some yellow. And we'll throw a little eye over in there. I'll let that one rest. I'll get in some lavender, a neutral tint, so kind of a cool gray. <clears throat> and let's say the sun is coming, our light source is coming from this side. So I'll just do some simple uh, eye shapes here. Again, this is our the plane of the forehead there. So I can even do some wrinkles. So maybe um, we can do some lines across like this. And then uh, right on down to our nose. And then maybe over in here. That cheek is catching a little bit of light. Ear. Nose. And then right on into the mouth. And our chin. And I'll pull this chin up a little bit. Let's put a little dent in it maybe. And then just kind of. Yeah, just do something loose there, neck, and I'll just add a little something there to indicate the ear while I'm rolling on this one. I'm just going to do a little bit of hairline there, so maybe got a little bed head. And let's mix up the color, so I'm going to get into some blues here, and throw a little glycerin crimson in there and let's uh, pick on this one here so I'll throw a light source uh, coming from top left here on this one and, and you're not trying to extract and you know do something too exact of course uh, just really uh, playing with the idea we can come in here maybe I wanted to leave a little color there uh, so I can you know, wipe that away. 
So maybe this nose, something like this, uh, down into that top lip. Maybe a little wrinkle under the eye there. I'll just go with some blue. Let's see how that blue looks with it. It's probably going to be a little bit too, too light in value. So let me get rid of that a little bit here. And we'll do kind of more of a straightforward face here. You know, as soon as you start doing, it's kind of interesting, like as soon as you start doing hairlines, um, it starts to take on... You know, the idea of it being a male or female. So, for example, I can take this head here, you know, and then give it, uh, let's say, some nice bangs coming down. And, and then throw a little bun right here. Round that chin a little bit. And it looks a little bit more like a, a female, especially if I come in here and maybe throw a little. I was going to put a little hair back there, but that wouldn't really make sense if it's in a bun. So. I'll just leave it like that. Um, let's go with some reds. Uh, nothing too shocking. And let's uh, go to this one here. So I'll do some red lips. Shadow underneath. Nose. And we'll do our eye. And just playing with the brush strokes, you know, pretty much just trying to you know find strokes that look interesting and uh, not too specific, you know. Sometimes, you know, just having uh, nice brushwork and interesting brushwork uh, can make a painting. So a little shadow. So here I'll just start with some hair. So let's do another little side part here. A little business hairdo, a little some sideburns. I'll just grab whatever's on the palette here. We'll do some sort of slanted, uh, straight, narrow eyes, short nose. We'll do a long chin on this one. Let's go with some black into these reds. And we'll do an eye. Probably a little bit too dark. And we'll get away with one more here. I'll just leave the top lip light there just for giggles. See how that looks. Big hairdo there on this one. We got one more up here. And let's put maybe a little, little bit longer nose, let's say. shadow on that top lip and we'll kind of go more of a round face here and 
dry brush. All right, so that's all it needs to be. So again, just having fun with it a little bit and pulling shapes out and exploring a little bit more, letting the colors mingle and do their own thing. And hopefully that'll give you something to, to build upon. And that's going to pretty much do it for this class. And I'm going to do an intermediate face and figures. And we're going to work with different angles. We'll work with some three-quarter views where the head is turned, different lighting conditions, and just you know a little more specific into some different scenarios, okay?